Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Jess Perferson and on this channel here we are talking about skincare and as you see me here it is just as if you saw me on the high street. Apart from I don't have a sunscreen on today and that is because we're going to test some sunscreens. We're going to test some colored sunscreens but um, you will be able to see it on my skin unfiltered because on this channel here we don't use a filter so in other words I don't hide behind a filter. This is actually how I look. So normally I actually don't have uh, any sort of cream on when I am uh, testing a sunscreens but uh, I do have that today so um, that was maybe uh, just a little thing that I thought maybe today I would put a little bit of some cream on but uh, it is so that normally when I use a, a sunscreen I don't really use a, a cream apart from what is left on my skin when I wake up in the morning and that is it because usually uh, sunscreens they are something that is a, a very a greasy uh, something and um, today is a uh, sort of no exception but uh, I will say that uh, some of these ones here and uh, we have a uh, two from uh, Vichy this one here and we have uh, one from uh, La Roche-Posay and say uh, one of them really uh, surprised me as to how nice it performs uh, on the skin uh, even down to maybe the color as well but uh, that sort of kind of like it uh, depends on what sort of uh, skin color your skin is so obviously my skin is not very very dark so uh, I cannot have something that is very dark on my skin and the thing is of course with these uh, tinted uh, sunscreens and I would say this one here is not a sort of a, a tinted sunscreen as such it is more like as you see a BB cream so it's something something like a all-in-one sort of a cream thing and uh, they have added uh, down here you can see an SPF of a 20 and uh, that of course means that uh, we need to use a uh, 1.25 milliliter for a face like mine inclusive of my neck and my ears but my ears are not that big so it wouldn't really make a huge difference if I took them in or not so this one here uh, will of course uh, give you some sort of a, a tint and they say it is a sort of a, a medium uh, tint so um, I have actually just made a little uh, sample here so you can see we have uh, this one here which I would say is uh, relatively dark and uh, then uh, there is uh, this one here I would say is uh, the most uh, light one uh, that I have found and uh, if you have a little look at this plate here you can see this uh, one here is uh, the darker one then you have the uh, La Roche-Posay in the middle and then you have uh, the other uh, Vichy here uh, in the out here and I would say this one here if you look uh, in the uh, daylight then I would say that uh, it is uh, rather um, a lot lighter than uh, the one in the middle but uh, in this light here it, they might look sort of like uh, the same but I will say uh, there is a, a little bit of a, a difference so there is also a difference in how they perform on the skin so uh, maybe you saw uh, the little video that I made uh, the other day and uh, it was about uh, this one here I did not tell you which one it was but it was about this one here so the La Roche-Posay one so if we just have a, a little look at it and just say that uh, all these ones here they have sort of like uh, tried to stem the tide of malice from all this sort of a uh, greasiness but um, they have uh, used this silica and uh, they've used that uh, in in all the products but uh, this one here also has uh, some sort of a starch in it as well and uh, this one here as well and this one here they actually say it is down here and see brillance or mattifying so uh, you would expect it to be sort of like uh, going on matte onto your face and um, maybe uh, you have already tried this one and feel that it goes on really nice and it's really sort of a matte but uh, I would say that if you use the correct amount it might be a little bit of a different story so you have uh, already seen how uh, this one looks uh, on my skin but uh, we can just uh, put a little bit uh, on my hand because I will try this one here on this side and then we'll try uh, this one here on the, the other side so you can see both of those from uh, Vichy how they compare we just have a, a little uh, quick one here on this one and you can see compared to my skin tone it is just a little bit sort of a uh, darker and uh, we could just uh, add a little bit on my hand here and you can see maybe uh, the difference it will sort of like obviously uh, dry up and be a little bit more sort of matte but I will say that um, as you can maybe see uh, on that little video and I will show it up here that uh, it is uh, a tad uh, sort of a uh, shiny and it does uh, continue to be a little bit sort of a uh, greasy I would say particularly uh, compared to these ones here from Evishi which I would say um, worked actually rather well I was rather surprised because normally a lot of times when you have tried something from uh, Avin for example it's really really sort of a uh, greasy but uh, now we are trying these ones here from uh, Vichy and we have uh, spoken about uh, one of their spray ones uh, a while ago and it was really really a sort of a very greasy uh, affair it was sort of like a spray sort of a liquidy stuff that you just sprayed on uh, to your face and cry like really really 
really shiny. So um, this one here, if you try uh, that one uh, on uh, this side here, you just take uh, the correct amount and that is 1.25 milliliters. So here there is um, about one milliliter, so that is not even enough. But obviously I only need half of it because I'm just putting it out half of my face. So sort of like if this is maybe, I would say, 1.25 milliliter or something uh, like that. And we just take half of it. Take the whole thing out first, sort of like try and empty it as much as possible. And then I just take this stuff here and it is not very, very scientific. We'll kind of like take half of this stuff here. So we will go like that. Voila, you can see, like that. So we put it on here and just take the other stuff off here. And actually when you put it uh, into the spoon, it maybe doesn't look that much. It just looks a lot more when you put it on your hand. So we will just uh, dab this stuff on. And uh, yes, it does give um, a sort of a, like a, a strong color, at least uh, for my skin. It might be that uh, you actually have uh, this sort of a color on your skin or your skin is that color. But uh, the thing is that this is not a makeup cream. So normally when you're using a makeup cream, what you will be doing is that you start in the middle and you go lighter and lighter or more like sheer to uh, outside of the edge of the face. And that is obviously because you don't want to have sort of a, a mask uh, on your face. So this one here, it uh, is a, a sunscreen and therefore it needs to be evenly distributed all over the face. And what that means is that you get a sort of a, like a, an unnatural, even sort of a mask effect on your face. And I would say that is one of the things that I find is not that great with these uh, colored uh, sunscreens. And you can smear it and smear it and smear it in. And yes, it will be a little bit better and better. But still, I would say even that you have this color, you will end up having a sort of... Uh, strange look on your face it will be very uh, obvious so we put something uh, on the eyelids as well it's around there it uh, did not annoy my eyes uh, but it, it might annoy other people's eyes but it, it did not uh, annoy my eyes so put it on like that and down the neck as well and uh, i will not go in and take my whole palm in the palm of hand and then just smear and smear it because i don't want to take it onto my hand of course so uh, this uh, is something that will take a, a little while but uh, as you can maybe f see i can at least feel that uh, this uh, starts to be um, not particularly greasy usually a sunscreen at this point here will be very very shiny and very greasy but it is they say it is a mattifying it says this uh, down here anti shine it says on this side and on the other side it says uh, anti brillance and mattifying and uh, it starts to one thing sometimes uh, sunscreens particularly when they have these um, minerals in them they uh, usually uh, starts to sort of a uh, tinkle a little bit at least uh, on my skin so uh, these ones here, they are colored with the uh, iron oxide, so uh, black, red, yellow, and then they are using uh, a bit of uh, titanium dioxide in order to sort of like uh, lighten the color or sort of like uh, use it as a, a canvas underneath uh, the color so, to make them sort of a uh, pop. So yeah. And this will obviously take uh, a little while, but uh, this is uh, the sort of the uh, amount that I need uh, on my face. And uh, as you can see, this it's i don't think it will ever sort of uh, look uh, nice maybe if i were to be seen from um, on the stage or something like that but uh, if people saw me up close they would just think why has he put that stuff on his face and there uh, would just say yes why have i done that well um i uh, tried this uh, the other day here and i didn't go uh, anywhere with it on i took it off because this would look absolutely uh, Grateful. And as I said, even that you have this sort of color, you will end up having this sort of a even sort of a color from here to there. And it just looks unnatural. But um, you can of course use a lot less and then you don't get the correct SPF. So that is uh, a problem. So yes, this starts to be um, less and less easy to distribute. But um, I mean, as you can see, this is a, a really sort of a a thick thick sort of strange layer on my face and this will never sort of start to uh, look uh, nice so um yes and it might uh, peel a little bit maybe if you have some dry areas so 
Yeah, so this this must be nice. I mean, you can totally uh, see the color. This is never gonna look nice uh, on my skin. It uh, it look uh, completely like strange, absolutely. So if we just take uh, the other one here, which is the uh, Vichy one, so look, it's a sort of little uh, sort of spray thing, sort of. Uh, it has this sort of a pump at least on it, and then uh, with the other ones just like normal tubes. So again, uh, this one, uh, this one here, and uh, it is, I would say, the lightest of them. And I actually tried it earlier today, and I thought it wasn't actually that bad. If I had a, a stronger suntan or something like that, I'm, I'm not particularly tanned at the moment, but uh, maybe I could get away with uh, using this one here. But uh, I still, uh, it will sort of like give uh, this sort of a even color from here to here, and it, it just doesn't look natural. Also, what uh, really surprised me uh, with this one here was that uh, when I put it on my skin, it dried up really, really quickly. And uh, I looked into the product and the ingredients list and I saw there is actually a lot of uh, silica in it. There is silica uh, in all of uh, these ones here. But uh, in this one here, it actually is uh, stated very high up on the ingredients list. I think it's number two or three ingredients, so rather a lot. And it really, really uh, shows when you put it on the skin. So if we try again, and I think it was seven pumps, something like that. Three, four, five, six, seven. And then we are not even there. So eight, nine, ten. And obviously we, we only have kind of like a little bit more than one millet. So I need a lot more for my skin. But I can't just put it in here. So I just have to sort of like I put it in my hand like that. And take some of the stuff off, sort of like that. And then give it a, a little bit more. One, two, three sort of like that and again this is not very very scientific but uh, we will put it on this side here and I'll sort of like try and take half of it it kind of like it looks like this take half of the stuff voila and this is difficult Whoa, yeah it, it really I mean it is really difficult this stuff here so um, yes it's liquid and it sinks in pretty quick and it dries up pretty quick but it is uh, pretty uh, difficult to uh, deal with so, yeah, and you can maybe already see uh, the difference in the color that this one here is more like uh, towards my skin tone and this one here is more I would say sort of a yellowish orangey sort of um, skin color so obviously this one here blends in a lot better to my skin uh, but still as I said before it will give me a sort of a look that is even from here to here and this just doesn't look natural so like that we put it down the neck as well and it didn't uh, annoy my eye either. So uh, all these ones here has uh, modern filters in it. Uh, so um, you most likely cannot get it in America or North America. I'm not quite sure about South America. There might be, you can get it there, I don't know. So yeah, but it's because of the FDA, of course, that it is not available in uh, America. So now you can see this sort of like blends in nicer to my skin, but still, it, it doesn't look natural. I mean, everybody will be able to see that I'm having something on. This is not just something that I would say I can put on and sort of like invisibly even out my skin. It, it will not. Everyone will be able to see that I have uh, something on. And uh, I would say in daylight, it will be a, a lot more uh, visible. And uh, it gives a very sort of, uh, I would say, it gives a shine, but sort of like a, a controlled shine. And that is uh, because there is a, a lot of a silica in the product. So it sort of like it gives um, a nice sheen to the skin. It's not like you don't look like overwhelmingly sort of greasy, greasy, but uh, you don't look like matte, matte, matte. So it's sort of like um, in that sense, uh, looks sort of like uh, okay. But the, what they are using is simply just uh, a lot of silica in the product. So it's not some sort of a, a miracle thing. It's just the uh, silica en masse. So uh, yes, uh, like that. And uh, if you are wearing this stuff for a little while, it will start to uh, collect uh, in the uh, the globe line, as I normally call it up here, so in the crease line. And uh, yes, this is, um, I would say, it is maybe uh, not just the color, but uh, if you look at this one here compared to that one, and you just don't sort of like uh, look at the shade of the color, but uh, this one here looks uh, a lot more uh, solid, like a solid block on my skin, where this one here is a little bit more uh, sheer. So in that sense, uh, this allows my skin to shine through some a little bit at least. But uh, yes, um, this uh, needs a little while before it's, sort of like really uh, dries up nicely. But um, I would say if you really must have uh, some sort of a, 
a colored uh, or tinted sunscreen i would say this one here is uh, the one i find that performs the best because it is so sort of like dries up nicely but uh, obviously if your skin is darker than what this one here is then well you, you can't really use it and that is obviously a lot of the, the problems with these uh, ones here that they are sort of like uh, as i see it uh meant for skin like mine that is a little bit uh, more tender than uh, it is at the moment so uh, this is obviously is not for very very dark skin because obviously you will be able to to see that so uh, yeah that is uh, one of the issues but uh, i have made another video uh, a long time ago and uh, that tells you how you can actually just yourself add a little bit of uh, iron oxide to it so uh, yes that is basically how they are coloring uh, this stuff here another thing is of course that uh, as we have spoken about before it uh, contains a uh, titanium dioxide and uh, if the titanium dioxide is coated it might not be a huge problem but it is so like uh, something like a uh, zinc uh, oxide and the uh, titanium dioxide as in this case here can actually uh, break down uh, some of the sun filters so it's not that great to put it uh, in a, a sunscreen so um it is so that uh, if they are sort of a uh, coated you can get these particles when they're coated and uncoated so if they're using the coated ones it shouldn't be that huge of a, a problem but still it could be uh, potentially uh, a sort of a, an issue that uh, the uh, filters don't last as long as uh, one would expect them to last because of uh, titanium dioxide and zinc oxide can go in and um, break down uh, the sun filters quicker than there otherwise and maybe also iron oxide um, yes so um, that is a little bit of something to think about so uh, I would say now you can see how this stuff here looks I can just take a little bit of this stuff here and just smear it on top you just see uh, the, the difference for the color we take uh, this one here and that down here it maybe looks a little bit lighter here but uh, I would say when you look uh, in daylight it looks um, a little bit dark but sort of like it's to the same side I mean definitely this one here and that one there they are closer to each other than uh, compared to this one here with a lot more sort of a uh, orangey and uh, again I think that um, both uh, this one here and this one here they are sort of like a uh, lighter in the consistency where this is a, a, li a little bit thick so uh, yes but uh, this one here from uh, La Roche Posay uh, is a little bit more uh, greasy compared to the other ones and definitely if you want something that is tinted and uh, you are happy with this color here then I would say uh, this one here uh, works uh, really well but uh, there is just that little thing about it and we have spoken about uh, salicylates before so um, derivatives of salicylic acid and uh, that is uh, unfortunately what is in here and uh, what is uh, in this one here as well so uh, if you would like to avoid that well these ones are not for you and uh, this one here is going a little bit uh, dirty uh, it does not contain these uh, salicylates but it contains uh, octocholine which they are not that happy about in hawaii and uh, this one here uh, contains octocholine as well but uh, so far as i could see uh, this one here does not so uh, yes i would say will i buy any of this stuff again no i would definitely not and uh, in general i think you should be a little bit careful whether these are sort of a um, tinted as sunscreens because i think a lot of people they are using way way too little because as you can see if you use the amount that i am using on my face now it, it just it, it doesn't look that natural i would say so uh, yes my verdict is that uh, i have bought these ones here once and uh, i will not buy it again so yes that was my verdict on this stuff here so if you like to see more sort of videos please subscribe to the bell and do all the things we do in order to be notified when i upload more sort of videos thank you for watching see you bye